Hey, what's up guys? Reefing ain't easy. So I use a CO2 scrubber to bring my pH up. So it's around 8.3 and I get better coral growth. Um, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. I live in a very dry climate and this needs humid air to work. So you're supposed to actually put a little bit of water in the bottom of this here. So that, that way it's kind of a humid environment. What happens with me is this media is not done, but my pH drops and it's because I need to add water in here. I literally have to add water like every single day, so it's just not feasible. Now, I am ordered a lid for my skimmer that's gonna have a little self-cleaning thing in there, so I'm waiting to make a recirculating CO2 scrubber to see if that solves the problem. But in the meantime, I know there's other people out there that have this issue. I'm going to attempt a humid little environment for the air intake and see if that solves my problem. So basically, I'm going to put some tubing here where it's drawing in the air and I'm going to drill a hole in the top of this jug here just the right size of the tubing and stick the tube in there and then I'm going to fill this jug up with a good amount of water and I'll drill some tiny little holes in the side above the water so when it draws air air will come in through those holes and hopefully inside it's nice and humid and I'll have a long time for this to evaporate and it'll be humid enough to work so I don't have to keep putting new water in here and I'll know when the pH drops it's because my media is done and not because it's not humid enough. I'll see if that's an easy fix and that it works. If it doesn't, I do have another solution, which is basically just taking a water pipe for tobacco kind of designer idea. Literally, you could take that and where you would suck, you're just gonna put the tube in there, seal it up, and then remove the bowl. So it, has to, it just pulls air and will actually have the air bubble through water in order to get in there and I know that'll for sure work. I feel like that's a little bit harder to implement and not everybody just has a spare water pipe for tobacco laying around. You could even make it with this by drilling a hole, putting a tube or another like some RO line in there so it has to like suck it through the water but it's just my worry there is that it's going to have to suck so hard it's going to put some strain on my skimmer and, and I'm gonna have to mess with the air intake and stuff but this would be a nice easy fix that everyone can implement so let me do that and see if it works and I'll let you know the results. All right, this is an easy fix that anyone can do. You just need a drill and a drill bit that's gonna match the size of your tubing. I used a step drill and I used a skinnier one like this one here. I'll put a link in the description if you want the same kit that I had. And you could even use a regular drill bit. You just wanna make sure it's the same size of the tubing. It doesn't have to be a perfect fit, but it, to, it has to be pretty close. So you don't have to use silicone or something. Then I just used the smallest drill bit I could find. It was a tiny little guy. And I drilled a bunch of holes, as you can see, in the side of the container, at the top of the container, because I wanna fill the container mostly with water. You could even use something like a tack or something. You don't have to have a drill bit. Just punch a bunch of holes into it so that there's some airflow. I got air is being sucked through these tiny little holes, big thing of water here, so hopefully that lasts a while. So air from inside of here going through the tube, comes into the inlet there, focus, comes to the inlet there, comes out there, goes up, and is feeding into my skimmer. All right, the result is in. It actually worked. I am super ecstatic that this simple fix that took me five minutes worked. Been thinking about how to do this for a while. Let's take a look at my pH um, for the day view. I did this yesterday at about 1230. You can see it slowly climbed up. And this was over the nighttime, so there wasn't photosynthesis happening in my tank, which helps increase your pH. And now that it is 1020 the next day, I've got a pH of 8.29. I'm sure it'll get to 8.3, which is awesome. So if you have that problem, that's an easy fix that almost anyone can do. You just need to create a little chamber that gives it humid air and you're good to go. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see some more videos. I definitely am going to create a recirculating CO2 scrubber. I'm also getting a much bigger scrubber and I'm going to have a couple chambers to help change the media out and make sure you get full use of it as well as adding a solenoid that's controlled by my apex so I can literally keep my pH as close as I can to 8.3 as possible. I will make another video on why I think pH is the most important thing for having good, quick, healthy coral growth. I have noticed a huge difference when my pH is 8.3 versus like 8, as well as I feel like they're healthier and stronger. So stay tuned for that. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.